I'm Sarah Wyman. And I'm Phil Wyman. Between us, we have investigated countless locations in our search for proof of the paranormal. We are invited to question the unexplained, to uncover what may be lurking in the shadows. With many reported hauntings throughout the UK, no two investigations are the same. Now, together with a team of experienced investigators, we continue to seek evidence to prove whether a haunting can be validated or not. From a selection of cases we each receive, we will come together to pick the most interesting and ask the question, Are you haunted? Today I am bringing a haunted manor, absolutely fabulous building with lots of history. Okay, we have had another email regarding a haunted road, so let's see what the others think of this one. So I'm bringing back Haunted Woods to the table. I brought it before, it didn't get chosen, so I'm hoping I can change their minds this time. Well, we've all had a look at what's on offer uh, this time. Um, who wants to do what? So, Tim, what do you want to do? My location, of course. Haunted Road. Okay, Haunted Road. Uh, Sarah? Haunted Manor for me. Haunted Manor, all right. Jane? Um, I fancied the Haunted Manor as well. Okay, two to one, Tim. Not looking good. Uh, <laughs> Dale, what do you want to do? I brought it before and I brought it again. I'm going to stick with it. I want the haunted woods. Two, one, one. Oh. Ben, what do you fancy? I fancy haunted road. Ah. Oh, haunted road. Cold. Two, two, one. Are we going to have a stalemate? Down to you. <laughs> I quite fancy the haunted manor. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the haunted manor. Sorry, sorry, guys. The haunted manor. Um, three, two, one. Yes. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whose is the haunted manor? <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> hey. Okay. It looks like Sarah's the winner again. We're off to investigate a haunted manor. Sarah's venue sees the Are You Haunted team travel to Howden in East Yorkshire and to the historical Bishop's Manor. My name is Ian Screeton. I'm from Screetons of Howden. Uh, we've owned this uh, building, the Bishop's Manor of Howden, this lovely building, since April last year, 2017. Uh, a very brief history of Bishop's Manor. Uh, it was completed in 1388. The, the, the part of the building that is left was the original ballroom of the, of the palace. It was the Bishop's Palace, which was 
uh, an extremely large building uh, and it went out um, in both directions from here. Uh, on one side was the kitchens and the, all the work areas, on the other side was the living rooms, bedrooms uh, and in between was a, a very large uh, stone courtyard. Bishop's Manor hadn't had too many investigations prior to our visit, so we were all wondering what our night within this fascinating building would bring us. Over the years, uh, it's had various usages, and in uh, 250 years ago, the, the property was altered into a residential house and was occupied right up until the uh, 1960s uh, when it fell into disrepair. And in the 1970s, a hippie commune moved in, and uh, eventually there was a fire and the roof fell in. We are looking to hold various events here at this building and uh, some of the events that have taken place have been paranormal evenings. When I've been in the building myself uh, on an evening, I've got to say that um, it's, um, it's quite, quite an eerie place and there are feelings here when you're on your own and I'm constantly looking over my shoulder to see if, uh, if I am actually the only person that's here or not. Well, here we are again on a Saturday night, another investigation coming up. Um, and whose venue is it? Again. <laughs> uh, so I think it's only fair that we give Sarah the reins and she can tell us a little bit more about Bishop's Manor in Howden, East Yorkshire. Okay, so first impressions then everybody, what do we think? Nice. Yeah. Nice, old, Lovely. ancient building. Impressive. Yeah. yeah. And one thing I noticed more than anything as we pulled up the driveway is looking at it from the outside, it seems, I mean, obviously not a small building, but inside, it just it's, seems to go on. It's, 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 like, it's, it's like a TARDIS. It really When is, you walk yeah. in, it's, yeah. Yeah, you, um, you, you think there's four or five rooms when you're looking from the outside, and this was like nine, ten rooms, it 11 is, rooms, yeah, yeah. like that. Just can, I, on. can I just say, guys, who are watching this, uh, the cliche of the moment award goes to Dale. It's like a TARDIS. Uh, anyway, sorry, Karen. Really? Yes, yeah, really. I'm leaving that in. As soon as he said it, I looked at James. And James was smirking at me. Jane just stays quiet. We're so professional, we're so professional. Right, okay, let me tell you a little bit of history, because obviously we've already heard from Ian. Um, so briefly... Like a TARDIS. We're looking at about 700 years old. Uh, built in the late 11th century and it's classed as an ancient monument okay mm -hmm. you'll see as you're walking around that there's parts of the building that it's just all a bit mismatched there's an arch there and an arch there there's like plaster there it's it's fantastic really good character built between 1388 and 1405 so i think the first bricks were laid around sort of say late 11th century and it's been modernized since ongoing over the years um you would notice the vaulted entrance porch, that's original, okay? And also, as we drove in, you couldn't miss that we're right, literally, next to Howden Minster, beautiful. Mm, it's a gorgeous, really, yeah, yeah. Yeah. beautiful old That looks really impressive. It does, yeah. Have a sneaky peek of that later, I think. Yeah. So originally it was built, the purpose of the building was for the Prince Bishops of Durham as somewhere to stay on their travels when they were going up to Durham from London. But having said that, we've had a few kings that have stayed here, notably King John, King Edward, and Henry V. Right. Supposedly have stayed in this building. So, tell us about the spooky stuff. Right, so, quite lucky, because we're about the fourth group that have actually been in here. So, in terms of paranormal investigations, it's quite fresh territory for us to go at. Yeah. What's been seen? Um, a monk, apparently, has been seen. Um, wandering all around the rooms. Yeah, what was it used for in the past? Before it was um, used as offices and apparently office people, workers, had actually reported strange things, occurrences taking place in the building as well. Okay. Is, so that's is before it, any paranormal investigation took place. Is it those that have reported the monks then? Uh, amongst the others, yeah, oh. yeah. And from what Ian was saying, that when the groups have come in and then afterwards when he's, he's spoken through them, they've had really good active nights as well. Really? So, 
Sounds like a fascinating building. Mm -hmm. Could be a very interesting night. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to turn out the lights! Turn out the lights! It just happens to be the room with the most relaxing chairs. Yes. Yeah, there's a, there's a box of dishes as well in case you get upset. <laughs> or for other needs. Who, who's going to cancel who? <laughs> We're just going to go in that room. <laughs> Come on. Right, off you go then. He's a bit watching you. <laughs> That's why we need to do it. I'm off. I'm going upstairs in the turret room, I think. Okay, you're going on your own? Yeah. Okay, you got your radio? Yep. Got your torch? Yep. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, Ben. Okay, so I'm heading into my little room now. This little uh, turret temple leave. This is JV's in the with my dad. All in the pictures. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna push the door too, I'm gonna completely shut it. Oh, an awful lot in here. Window, another window. Very echoey in here. Okay, so I am on the ground floor by myself, nobody else down here. There's the entrance. Uh, you can see the glare from one of the CCTV cameras. And that looks like it would have been a stairway or something like back in. When it was used, I guess. Um, church bells are going up right now. I guess it's the hour or something, I'm not sure. But they're not ticking in, so I don't know. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. It's very quiet on this room. It's very quiet lonely. I can also be stairs that I'm going to sit on them. Well, here's Tim and myself in the therapy room at uh, Bishop's Manor in Howden, East Yorkshire. And it's a, a fascinating building, a very old building, and it's had some interesting paranormal activity, apparently. So uh, we're here to uh, see what we can learn for ourselves. Are you haunted, Bishop's Manor? Yeah. Is the old kitchen. Stay here for a bit. So this room at the minute um, I have to say that I don't feel too bad in here. But I don't feel particularly nervous about being on my own at the minute. But then we've only just started. So we'll see what the night brings. Okay, I don't know if there's any noise in the Sounded like something scraping on the floor in here, but no. The only trouble is, Jane, with looking at this CCTV, it is very distracting, having all these insects. Obviously on the hub, on the CCTV, we're looking for things happening. But all we're seeing at the moment are hundreds of insects flying around on cameras one, two and four. Camera three seems very quiet, down in the entrance hall. 
It's probably a bit cooler down there. There were a lot of mosquitoes earlier. Um, there was. It's probably what it is. Yeah. But that would be because of the... Bear, it what, well, it was what the, was the river behind, wasn't it? And so, the river Derwent. Yeah. Yeah. Which is now just a drain. Which is such a shame. That's a bit of a downfall. Yeah. Tim, it looks like you are sat on, because it's so bright here. Mm. I mean, let me just, you should, that's the windows outside. And obviously because this building is lit up from the outside, it's shining very bright uh, in this room. And it's quite a relaxing yeah. color, isn't it? It's kind of like a, you can't see it here. I mean, if I turn the, the night vision off for a second. Um, an orange tint. There, look at that, that is quite nice actually. Nice, nice shot, and it is quite relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think we could easily fall asleep. It's calm. <laughs> calm. So calm. Yeah. And it looks like you're sat in a deck chair or something, Tim, in the chair. middle of summer. You just need some glasses on. <laughs> Where's the strike bit? <laughs> uh, just don't get your budgie on. smugglers on, kid. <laughs> budgie <laughs> smugglers. <laughs> I can't hear somebody moving about. Which is... I'm just going to check. Somebody moving around? Yeah, Jane's just moving around in the group, in the evil. Shit. She's down there with a seat. I just heard an eyes in this other room. Somebody moving around? Somebody moving around? Has anybody come downstairs? No. Um, ben hasn't come past. Um, Phil and Tim haven't moved out of the seats. And Jane's only moved to the window in the hub. Okay, um, I've just heard a noise down here. <laughs> I wonder if it was the same time we heard up here. I asked if it was like a dragon noise. We heard a kind of a, a slight bang, a tap, and then a kind of a dragging noise. Um, probably a minute, a minute and a half ago. the camera that I don't feel particularly like too <laughs> uncomfortable because it's quite a light in here. Yeah. And then I heard like a, a dragging noise. I heard something similar. From in there. Mm. And then like a... It was like a click but it wasn't a click because it was louder than a click but it... It was like a click but it wasn't a click because it was louder than a click but it... It was... It was like a click but it wasn't a click because it was louder than a click but it... It was... What was that bump? Huh? It was loud, like a bang. Can I hear 12 too then? Mm, I do. Was it like a card you think of? Don't know. Okay. But it was literally through that Three, I said another one then. Yeah. Is supposedly the spirit of a monk who wanders this building. Um, obviously it does have connections to religion. And you can tell that by the name Bishop's Manor. But, but, will the monk make an appearance for us today? Uh. That is the $64,000 question. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Oh, 
torch here, thank you, Tim. Put your torch on for me. Or my torch, press it again. That's it. Sort of kitchen thing again upstairs. Mm. One way you went to the, the sort of kitchen thing again upstairs. Mm. One way you went to the, the sort of kitchen thing again upstairs. Mm. Oh, maybe you want to go upstairs. Hey. Maybe you want to go upstairs. Hang on. Right. Can you hear me? We've just heard that noise again upstairs, directly above us. Completely quiet in here. I tell you what it's like, it's like you know when somebody's walking around and you can hear sort of like um, little bits of sort of cracks as the ceiling moves. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, but there's no sound coming from next door, which is above you. It's carpeted, doesn't it? So I don't think if there was anything, you would hear it, if that makes sense, but we would probably hear the weight from down below. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Um, what, I, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to get up and I'm going to walk into that room now, see if you can hear anything. Is that all right? Yeah, bang on. Nice one. See if we can hear it. Do they know where we are? Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they know that we're directly below that room. Mm. Yeah. That's just like it. Just like it. That's heavy though. That's just like it. Maybe not as heavy. Sorry, Jane, don't mean that in an offensive way. <laughs> but the cr sort of cracking noise that comes through the ceiling. Um, uh, purposely bumping a little bit, if I'm honest. <laughs> Sorry, Jane, don't mean that. Yeah, well, that, I can hear your footfall, um, but it's the sort of cracking. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it that you're doing now. can hear it. Yeah, because of the watch, yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm doing it really gently now. Okay, well, there's nobody in here. Uh, I can hear you moving, Jane. Um, Dale can hear me moving, so that's really strange that we, we can't hear, hear it. Okay, thank you. We're next to a church, so if you can hear the church bells, that's what it is. It's not barren or... Yeah. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> Talking. Like a mumbling. As Tim and I were talking, I heard what I can only describe as some kind of monk-like chanting similar to Gregorian chanting that you may have heard before. Listen again and see what you think. Listen, I don't think it. <laughs> Talking. Like a mumbling. Downstairs. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Now. That's it. Oh, it's dark. Alright. Yeah. You got the light torch. Yes. Are you down in the bar bit? No, I was going to say get down that back room with whoever. So they call it the bar bit. I missed this bit uh, when he was talking about it. Yeah, they changed it to a bar, don't they? Oh, okay. We didn't notice this sound until we edited the footage. Is this a reply to Sarah's question? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody here? It would, because it's all main, mainly solid. It's all stone, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I hope that's him. Got to be Phil. It's got to be that loud. That's video. I'm going to for a bit. your head. I'm not told. Go through the shower. Through the toilet. That's what you do when you send us that way. OK, 
Okay, so we're on the second floor of Bishop's Manor. This is the floor that has totally been renovated. Very modern up here. Um, no real external brickwork that you can see um, of the original building. This, this floor was the floor that was gutted by fire. The whole roof caved in, so it's had to be totally done up. Um, in the last 30 years, mm. uh, 30, 35 years. I think the best thing from here right now is that I can see you underneath that doorway and it's lit up on the other side of that door, so if anything it walks down that hallway or something, cast a shadow that I can see. Yeah. Um, a few bits and pieces, well. few bits and pieces. yeah, a mm. um, couple of bangs, a couple of knocks, um, some noises of, as if something is being dragged, like someone walking, dragging some furniture. Um, that's been witnessed a couple of times from different parts of the building. Footsteps? Yeah, it's been footsteps heard. Who's now? Really? Yeah, it's been footsteps. Heard. Footsteps? Somebody came from here. We're very soft. Where about spent? Sorry, let me just turn the camera around. To the very soft one. So footsteps from this corner just now. Mm. I didn't hear them, but I do apologise. Probably do them. Okay. Can you do that again for us? Okay, Tim and myself are going to the upper floor. Um, where's he gone? There he is. He's gone in this room. Yeah, I've got all that in there. What, this window? Yeah, this one is. What is it? Right, me and Tim we just moved. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, in the bar room. Yeah, yeah I think this could be quite a good move to be honest. Oh, it smells nice. Huh? Smells nice. It's very fusty. Okay, so anybody that's related to the three kings, King Edward, King John, or King Henry V, any of their entourage connected with this building? or just in visitation, come forward to us. 
Come on, let us know you're here. So we're just fucking moving it aside, man, on the camera screen. It's not. No, it didn't, did it? Yeah, but I saw something here. Oh, no, it was here. It was that side. Something appeared by the zoom buttons on the screen and it's just up here. So, yeah. So, I was looking at the camera screen, there was a black and black blob here. Whoa, is it? Fuck off. Say it again. It's about that big. And there's nothing, uh, nothing that. What's it there, is it? Shadow there? There's a shadow there then. It was a proper black circle. Strange. Black circle? Yeah. Solid? So, not solid, no. It had some opacity on it. Do it again if you're here. Fucking hell, I can see things, man. What's the matter now? Mm -hmm. Door being open, I thought it was a bloody... It's all stood there for a sec. Come and give us an insight into your past. Sort of sound, wasn't it? Yeah. Sort of sound, wasn't it? Yeah. Try a different. Moan at me. You'll moan at me, won't you? If I leave it in one shot. Good afternoon everyone. Well, we are here in Bishop's Manor and what better place to actually review the footage from Bishop's Manor investigation. <laughs> yeah, back again. Over to Sarah. Okay, so as usual, I've got a selection of clips from the night um, that we spent here at Bishop's Manor. So I'm gonna go straight in there with one for myself. If you remember on the first vigil, I can't remember who was on the hub first, first vigil. Oh, I don't know. It may have been me, actually. I think it was you, yeah. Jane. It's, I seem to think, mm. Ben, you went somewhere on your own and I went off mm. on my own downstairs. I thought, yeah, I'm going to be brave for this one. And I went downstairs on my own and I was starting to hear some noises down there. So this is a little clip from my time. I'm just going to check. Somebody moving around? What was that then and where did it come from that? I'd gone downstairs to the, the room that had got the old fashioned cooking range 
Um, and as I sat down, I could hear definite noises, like shuffling noises coming from the room next door to my right. So I'd radio through to you guys just to make sure that you weren't moving around. You were on the hub, I believe. And that's when I could hear the definite noise from next door. And obviously being on my own and then psychology starts to kick in, you feel, feel a little bit more sort of vulnerable, don't you? So that, that was an interesting start for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ben, this is me and you um, when we were downstairs. I believe you came and joined me. Mm -hmm. um, and we are in a room where you hear some footsteps first out in the hallway, and then we were hearing footsteps above us. So I've got two different clips for this one. Do you hear footsteps in the hallway? Do you remember that? Mm, there were some footsteps in the hallway, weren't there? It was like two, I think it was like two steps. But if you remember when we were in that room, as we were sat there, we weren't directly underneath the hub. It was the room along from that. And yeah. we could hear what sounded like somebody walking directly above us when we knew that nobody was. And it, it was kind of like, you know, when somebody walks above you, you can hear the ceiling kind of crack. That's the next clip. So I'll go on with that one. Like with those two behind us. What the... One with the sort of kitchen thing again upstairs. Mm. Or oh, maybe you're going upstairs. Eh? Maybe you're going upstairs. Hang on. Right. Can you hear me? And if you remember, Jane, when I'd radio through to you, you actually went and oh, walked, walked around. around. Yeah, 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 yeah. To replicate it. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was like just that sort of. Not the stomping, creaking. but the more the cracking of the ceiling as you could hear it. So it's a, a real strange one. Okay, so the next one, again, this is for you, Tim, this time. Right. This is a real, real strange clip. And obviously I've gone back and watched the footage. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what was happening, so I'm gonna play it to you and you can tell us- Refresh my memory. What you can remember. <laughs> so we're just fucking moving it aside, me on the camera screen. That's not. Oh, did it? Yeah, I saw something here. Oh no, it was here. It was that side. Something appeared by the zoom buttons on the screen and pushed up here. Say again. Something I was looking at the camera screen, there was a black and black blob here. Whoa, see? Fuck off. Say it again. Something about that big. Uh -huh. Can you remember that? <laughs> I vaguely do. It was weird. It was, yeah, I remember putting, I put the camera down so then after I would it, line it up right, get it in shot, etc. So I just remember something appearing, and as you see, and like it's there, and when I do know that something's there, and mm. it's not something that either Phil or anyone else is doing, that's when I'll start swearing. Like, yeah. the, the footage from your but, camera, is anything on that? Because I say, no. can you see it? Yeah, no. I've, I've, I've been camera. back through it, I've, I've gone yeah. through it frame it by frame. It was just me, nothing. what I saw with my eyes, basically, but I kept well, seeing you, this you sort, saw it more some than sort once. of a blob. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it a couple yeah. of so times. It's yeah. the way that you jump as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> because it was sort of there. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, get out of it. Not but, like um, us to swear, of yeah, course. No, no. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I swear, I'm scared. Right. You and me, Dale, we yes. went down into, I think it's called the cellar bar <laughs> in the building yes. it is now. Yeah. And we were hearing some really, really strange mm, noises, we like vocal noises. Yeah. So, couple to play. Thank you. No. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And it wasn't my tummy. That's what I thought. Was it your tummy? No. It wasn't mine. Definitely not. Do you remember that? Yeah, I yeah, do. It, it's really clear. It was really, really audible. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what it is. I can't describe what it was. <laughs> No, I think instantly you first. I mean, I, I think I even say it on the footage. Is it's not my tummy. I thought it was mine. Like yeah. Tummy noise, but I it, thought it could really it be wasn't. someone's tummy noise, but it wasn't. But leading on from that, and it got even more interesting. How are you feeling in this room? Um, best than any other room. What was that? What's what that? was that? <gasps> what was that? Oh my god. Strange one, isn't it? I'd almost f forgot about that, but then, yeah. then it comes back to you straight away as soon as you hear it again. You remember all those sounds, and there were two or three mm -hmm. distinct sounds that 
weren't natural. No, it's they were, really strange. They were, it kind of sounds like a dog by now, honestly. Mm. It does a little bit that sound like a dog now you yeah. think about it, yeah. So we don't know, again, we radioed through to, to everybody else. It's to me, if it's going to be a person, it's a female that's making that yeah, noise. It's very high pitched. That would leave Jane, and you said that you'd not made a noise. So, what it was, I don't know. It's late in the night, there was nobody around outside at that no. point. Very bizarre, very bizarre. Very, very bizarre, yeah. Bishop's Manor. Um, in, in fact, before I actually go any further with it, while we've been recording these bits and pieces, mm. there have been noises going on, and we are the only ones in this building. We've got mm. the master key to the building. Nobody else is in here, and we've had bangs and knocks and taps. Yeah. Um, going back to the footage then, um, let's have a look. Ben, what do you reckon? Do you reckon Bishop's Manor has something weird going on? Well, honestly, from when I was here, nothing happened to me in particular, so I don't think it's hard from what I've experienced, but there have been a few things that you can't explain, mm. but I'm going to have to lean towards no. Okay. Jane? Um, a, quite a quiet night for myself. I didn't personally um, have a lot happen to me. However, I've heard every single noise that's happened today and they've been loud. Mm. Yeah. So that's just sort of thrown a cat amongst the pigeons, if mm. you like. Yeah. So, um, I'd, it's another one where I'd have to come back and have another bash at it because I've not got an awful lot to report, mm. but I'm not saying that it's not because of the history that it's got. Yeah. Okay. okay. Tim. Hi. Uh, well, oh no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right this time. Uh, yeah, definitely, as Phil says, over today, you know, this, out uh, that way, there's little bits and bobs, mm -hmm. and again, it reinforces my decision now to say, yes, I'd like to think that this place is haunted. Looking back at the joint footage as well, that, you know, the noise we just swallowed a Dale. Yes, strange, nice building, atmospheric, bloody freezing, but uh, I'd like to say haunted. Yeah. Dale. Yeah, um, for once, something happened to me. <laughs> I, I go to various locations and not much happens, which is really scream. frustrating. I didn't scream <laughs> at all, no. Um, but something did happen, and those noises at the end that myself and you got, yeah. Sarah, were totally unexplainable. I can't understand what they were, where they came from, how they were made, um, and, and various other knocks throughout the evening. And again, as Jane has said, today, while we're here right now, we're hearing bangs and knocks from other parts of the building when there is nobody here. Yeah. So from that, yeah, I'd, say, I'd like to say, I think there is something here that could, uh, you could say it's haunted, mm. yeah. Okay. Sarah. It's, it's tough, I, I, think, I think there is something because of those noises mm. and the shuffling noises that I was getting right at the beginning of the night. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, See, I, I know I'm quite skeptical. So, but I am gonna, I am gonna say, I do think something is here. Um, again, today we've been hearing a lot of noises, a lot of bangs that have been going off, which can't explain. So, I do think there is something going on at Bishop Manor. Yes. Okay. And yourself? Uh, again, it was, it was a fairly quiet night for for me. Um, had the old bits and pieces, but nothing major happened. But I like those weird noises that you and Dale got at, at the end. Mm. It's a bit strange. Um, and the prob there probably is something going on here, but it didn't show much to me. No. Um, yeah. So I'll, again, I'll reserve judgment on it. Um, I'd like to come back. Yeah, I'd like to say, yeah. I think it's a fascinating building. It is. And on a different night, we might get a, bit completely a lot different, more. Yeah. Personally, I might get a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's the way yeah, it goes. That's the way it goes. Sometimes we, we turn up. Sometimes not an awful lot might happen to me anyway. Um, and another night it might all be kicking off. But those were those were really strange noises. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah. Yeah.